Alright, so this is my arcade controller. I built this controller probably five or six years ago, but I did not really have the technical know-how to build a good interface to connect it to the computer. And I didn't want to settle for one of the, the cheap keyboard hacks where you take apart a keyboard and wire it all up and you have to worry about the matrix and all this other nasty stuff. So I wanted a real solution. So <clears throat> what I decided to do is now that I've been programming these things for a while, I decided to make a USB interface. <clears throat> That's the, the bottom of the joystick. You can see that it's got four different switches. Each one of these guys is a switch, and they correspond to up, down, left, right. So when each one of those buttons is pressed, it sends the signal to the microcontroller in there. That's the, the big chip. And basically every time you push a button, the microcontroller sends a command to the computer over USB telling it that certain bu buttons were pushed and that's basically all that a uh, all that a joystick or game controller does so it was, it was relatively simple and that uh... that little phone cable looking thing is is what i plug into the the programmer to actually put the code onto the chip and then we see i have six buttons which is good for street fighter and those kind of games. And then down there you see the the coin and start buttons. You can see up here, that's coming handy because you know you just click the button and it's like putting a quarter in the arcade machine. So yeah, it's just plugged in over USB. And it shows up on you know, I got the Windows machine up here. This shows up as arcade controller. It's what I it's a boring name, but that's what I called it. And we'll see here. I just set it up to have a whole bunch of buttons. I've only got eight buttons on this one, but I had it tell the computer there's 16, so I could actually expand it if I wanted to. And then you see the, the XY axis, which is just, you know, you just move the joystick and it makes the XY axis move like you'd expect. And then we have all eight buttons. And so. Since it shows up in here, it'll work with pretty much any game that that can talk to joysticks using the Windows interface, direct input or whatever you want to call it. And since this is a fully compliant USB device, you can plug it into Linux or even my Mac over here. It works just fine in MAME and all the other emulators I have and any other game that takes a joystick. So let's close out of that. You can see it's in the device list there, the hit compliant game controller. So up here I have uh, MAME32, which is just the, the graphical interface to MAME on Windows. And I got a whole bunch of ROMs in here. But let's go find one of my favorites, which is. There we go, Metal Slug. Okay, so we're going to play Metal Slug 5, which is a, a Neo Geo game that came out in 2003. So let's just boot that sucker up. Hi. Yeah, this computer is kind of old and slow, but it's fast enough to emulate a Neo Geo, which is all that really matters. Okay, and there we have it. Um, just to get started, we just hit the, the button that is set up to be the coin button, which you can configure in the main interface. You can make any of these buttons do anything you want. We just hit start. Thank you. Thank you. And there you have it. 